Mark McKay here for SpokenText.net. This time let's record a web page. So click the create a new recording button then click the web page tab. Now you can set your voice options like we've done in the previous tutorials. Now down here you can actually just you need to give your name to the recording. So I'm going to just call this about us and I will put in a URL. This is to the About Us page on SpokenText.net. You can also record a document as well here. So if, for example, you had a URL or the web address right to a PDF file, you could actually just put that right in here and record the PDF file or the Word file or the plain text document, any of the supporting files that you see on the uh, Documents tab. So any of these file formats right here can be supported using URL recording as well. So let's go back to our page there. I'll just have to fill it out again because it, when I hit tabs, it didn't save. That's fine. I'm going to copy and paste the document back in. So this, depending on how the page is structured, if the, if the page is structured properly, you can actually tell it to start recording at a certain spot on the page. So that's the first heading one that it finds. And again, we've done some of these settings before. You can determine whether you want the name or the length to be included in the recording if your account supports these features and you can have it send you an email if you want and when the recording is done and you can make the recording public or not let's hit record and there we go so let's actually I'll show you guys batch uh, deleting here so while we're waiting for this recording to go through I'll just check these two boxes because I want to delete those two files go up here and hit delete and there, boom, those two files are gone. I also want to delete this one here too, this test recording, so I'm going to delete that one as well. And there you are. So it's gone off, and it's right now it's in status of queued. Eventually it'll go off, grab the web page, pull it down, and do the best job it can at recording it. Web pages can be difficult to record sometimes due to the HTML or the quality of the page that the person has put up on the internet. If it ever doesn't work well for you, don't forget that you can always just copy and paste the text right into the enter text tab and uh, record it that way as well.